Dr. Smith, welcome to the Valder Beebe Show live in Dallas, Texas. How are you? I'm great. Thank you for having me. I've got a, a small amount of time with you, so I'd like to really get into the topic. I'd love to know, is there an HIV epidemic in the U.S. going on and we just don't know this? Absolutely. Well, people think that HIV is a part of the past, but the reality is that HIV is still very much with us. There are 1.2 million people living with HIV in the United States, and there are roughly 32,000 new cases every year. In 2021, in Dallas, Texas, for example, there were 20,000, more than 20,000 people living with HIV, and there were more than 1,100 new cases in 2021. So yes, it is still very much with us, and we need to be have people be more aware about it and, and, and do everything that they can to reduce their risk. This is very troubling, uh, doctor. What are some of the ways to help prevent it? Well, what we've known for a long time that safer sex and using condoms can reduce the likelihood of HIV transmission, but we have something that's newer and that's called uh, PrEP or pre-exposure prophylaxis. And that's where you take a medicine to reduce the uh, risk of HIV. And there are a number of forms of it. You can take a pill every day. But what our company, Vive Healthcare, has done is we've created a long-acting HIV prevention medicine called Apertude, where you take one injection every two months, and that substantially reduced the likelihood of acquiring HIV. In our clinical trials, when we compared it to taking a pill every day, it was significantly better at reducing the likelihood of HIV transmission. Well, my audience to know that Dr. Kimberly Smith is head of research and development at Vive Healthcare. Dr. Smith, uh, why is it so important for you to get this message out? I think it's really important that this is something that we can actually get our hands around and get control of. What we know is that HIV disproportionately impacts certain communities. Black and Latino men who have sex with men are disproportionately impacted. But what some people are surprised to hear is that one in five of the new cases of HIV are among women, and that's disproportionately black women. And so we really want people to recognize that HIV is still a significant uh, public health urgent issue and that we can do something about it. If we get everybody tested and everybody who's living with HIV on treatment and then everyone who is a part of those disproportionately impacted uh, communities that are not living with HIV could be on, on PrEP so that they can reduce the likelihood of them contracting HIV. We want people to be aware. We want them to talk to healthcare providers. And if they want more information about long acting HIV prevention, they can go to apertude.com, and that's A-P-R-E-T-U-D-E.com. When your company, Vive, I'm going to ask you this last question, talks about HIV prevention, does anyone talk about the power of choice, the power to say no, the power to say I'm not going to have sex uh, prior to, you know, having a relationship? Is, is that a part of this, or this is simply something to use in order not to get infected? Well, you know, I, I think what we what we know is that one of the ways that individuals can avoid HIV is is abstinence. But but certainly we know that you know that that hasn't worked. We've known we've had HIV around for 40 years. We know that condoms can be effective, but they haven't been effective enough. And so, despite um, you know the knowledge about safer sex, we still continue to have thousands of people who are becoming HIV infected every year. And so, it's important that individuals talk to health healthcare providers about how they can reduce that risk, all of the ways, but one of those ways is actually with medication. I want to thank you so much, Dr. Kimberly Smith, to alert us that this has not gone away. Commercials on TV make us think it's gone away, but you've given us a different perspective, so I thank you for stopping by the Valder BB Show. I appreciate this. Thank you for having me. Hi, I'm Valder BB, host of the Valder BB Show. We have over 1,000 videos on ValderBBShow.com and YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. We upload new videos daily. Our site is a modern baby boomer platform with news and information important to boomers. Subscribe to YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow and stay connected as I interview the world's most fascinating people.